Hi, Gil from Testing Gil here. As everybody knows, because everybody read the HTTP specification, when we create something, we expect a 201 code. Create it. Okay, so now that everyone read it, that's okay. Let's look at this API. It creates a user in the application. When the API succeeds, it returns a 200 code, not a 201. Is that okay? Should we call the HTTP police? Ah, with that phone now. Truth is, if there was an HTTP police, they would be very busy. Nobody enforces HTTP law. Let's look at another example. This time we'll try to get the user that we created. But there's an error. What should we get? Well, if the user is missing, and the developers are nice, they will give me a nice 404, not found, error. And maybe, if they're, even if they're nicer, give me a response with some description of the error. But there's no law saying that they need to return a 404, they can return a 400, a bad request. Which is ironic because even though there are no rules, I'm getting judged by the request I sent. Even more so, they can even return a 500, an internal error, and they'll still be off the hook. Let's take a final example, a delete. We're going to delete the user, and we're going to get a 200, which is okay. So we deleted the user. It, it, we get a 200, but was it actually deleted? You know, in regulated environments, uh, financial, medical, uh, applications will not actually delete the data. The data is maybe marked as deleted, but is still available for somebody else, like an admin of the system or somebody who can read logs. So it's not really deleted. So when I got a 200 and OK on the delete, it wasn't really deleted, and therefore it's not really OK. HTTP codes are convenience. They convey information, but that information may not be complete or accurate, maybe redundant, maybe misleading. And maybe that's okay too. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, like it, subscribe. Leave me some comments down below if you agree or disagree with me. Watch some other videos on my channel and see you next time.